Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the numerical of kinetics of particles conservation of energy, which is very important for exam. Uh, now our question goes like this: the sphere at A is given a downward velocity v naught. Okay, here is sphere A, and this person is giving a motion to a sphere in a downward direction, and this sphere is attached to a center point. Okay. Um, magnitude 5 meter per second and swings in a vertical plane okay means it is swinging in a vertical plane not in horizontal plane if if the question has said that it is swinging in horizontal plane then it will have swing like this okay and this may be a center but the question has said that it is swinging in horizontal plane means if this is our horizontal plane and our if this is the center then our and let this be a sphere then it is swinging like this okay like this so um vertical plane at the end of a rope of length l equals to 2 meter so the length of rope from center to the sphere center of the rope the point where the rope is attached to the sphere their distance their length is 2 meter attached to a support at which determine the angle theta at which determine the angle theta at which rope will break knowing that it can withstand a maximum tension equal to twice the twice the weight of sphere it means that t equals to 2a the rope will break knowing that it can withstand a maximum tension equal to twice the weight of sphere means it means that it is the condition that t equals to 2 mg is the condition when that comes to play when the rope just tends to break let me repeat it again that is t equals to 2 times mg is the condition that comes to play when the rope just tends to break okay uh, this is our sphere and it is moving with downward with the velocity v naught okay so before solving the question let us draw a free body diagram so let this be a center point where the rope is attached and this be a let it be a sphere at point A and let us suppose this axis be our datum datum means our reference point where we begin our process so and after a certain time it reaches at position B and it is given that this is angle theta the length of rope is 2 meter if we draw our line parallel to OA then it will be like this so um, and this angle will also be theta due to alternate angle so it is our L if this theta then our this axis will be along this axis it will be L cos theta and along the vertical axis our we will get sine component of length that is L sine theta okay that is L sine theta or we can simply say that as this angle is our theta so cosine component of length is uh, L cos theta is in this side and another L sin theta is in this side or uh, or by alternate angle let this axis be a cosine component of length and the vertical axis be a cosine sin component of length okay so in both ways using this angle or this angle we can find the L cos theta and L sin theta now we have to remember that this is the most uh, confusing where we do not focus on finding the cosine component and sine component we may take this side as cosine component and this sine as sine component and our numerical will be wrong so we should be, be careful in taking cosine and sine component now our system is in isolated isolation state that is uh, the this sphere moves a circle and circle in the circular path 
and here only comes the talk of kinetic energy and potential energy that is total energy so uh, it is uh, so total energy in a circular path when the, when the sphere moves in a circular path uh, the total energy remains constant so and it is one of the isolated systems so we use the conservation of principle of energy okay so to in order to use the principle of conservation of energy we first uh, find the find the kinetic energy and potential energy at position a so at position a at position a kinetic energy equals to 1 by 2 m b a square not our b naught is 5 meter per second so 1 by 2 into mass is m and velocity is 5 square equals to 12.5 m equation 1 so potential similarly potential energy at a is equals to 0 if you take the position a or this axis as a datum then there will be no change in height or we can simply say that at datum our potential energy is equals to zero so or or since height is equals to zero because of datum because we have suppose suppose because we suppose we suppose position a position a as datum so in datum our potential energy is zero uh, similarly at at position b our kinetic energy is at position b our kinetic energy equals to b equals to 1 by 2 m b b square and at position 2 we do not know the value of velocity and mass so 0 0.5 mbb square equation 2 okay uh, similarly potential energy at b is uh, we know that potential energy is mgh and our height is l sin theta since our l sin theta our height is below datum if our height is below datum we take negative sign okay and if our height is above datum we take positive sign since our datum is at this position along this axis and our height is below the datum so we take h as negative l sin theta that is mg and our h is minus l sin theta now using the now using conservation of energy now using principle of conservation of energy we get ta plus b a equals to t b plus b b that is sum of kinetic energy and potential energy at position a is equals to sum of kinetic energy and potential energy at position b so kinetic energy at position a is 12.5 m plus 0 equals to kinetic energy at position b is 0 0.5 m b b square plus minus mgl sin theta potential energy is minus mgl sin theta or 12.5 m equals to 0 0.5 mb b square minus mgl sin theta m m and m get cancel out so bb square equals to 12.5 plus gl sin theta upon 0 0.5 equals to 25 plus 2 g l sin theta bb square equals to 25 plus 2 into 9.81 into 2 sin theta equals to 25 plus 39.24 sin theta let it be equation 3 as you know that above principle that is kind of conservation of principle in from conservation of principle of energy uh, we can find only velocity but we cannot find both force velocity tension and angle at position b so in order to find the angle at position b we must use newton's second law 
Newton's second law of motion. So, let us draw the free body diagram for the position B. Let the ball be, it is our ball at position B and the weight of the ball is vertically downward. Let this be our reference axis. Okay. And our center is here. So, uh, our tension goes like this at a certain angle theta. Let us re look at figure. Our ball is at here at position B. Weight will act vertically downward. Tension acts towards center. Okay. So, and our angle is theta. So, let here is our angle theta. As the sphere is moving in circular path, we have a normal component and tangential component. Normal component always act towards center, so this is our normal component and tangential component move acts tangentially, so this is our tangential component. As this angle is theta, overall angle is sorry, um, overall angle is 90 degree, and this angle is 90 minus theta. Okay, this angle is theta. Overall angle is between normal component and tangential component overall angle is 90 so our angle is uh, this angle is 90 minus theta then again overall this angle is 90 degree and 90 minus 90 90 degree minus 90 degree minus 90 minus theta we get angle theta degree so this angle is our theta degree it means now cosine component is given as mg cos theta and sine component is mg sin theta now equating with force equals to ma diagram this be a ball and m a n and our another acceleration is tangent selection so m a t let this be our x axis and this be our y axis We know that now from Newton's second law, from Newton's second law, submission Fn equals to Man. Okay, that is, uh, we have suppose this direction as positive, so in this direction we have tension, and in opposite direction we have minus mg sin theta equals to m into normal acceleration is given by b square by rho and in this case our rho is uh, rho is radius of curvature and our radius of curvature in this case is length so b square upon b b square upon rho because at at position b our velocity is bb okay so bb square upon rho rho means here length we can write length so now the maximum break concept will come here as question has given that maximum tension is 2 tension is 2 t equals to 2 times mg that is t equals to 2 times mg so now using t equals to 2 times mg we get 2 mg minus mg sin theta equals to m m by length is 2 bb square is 25 plus 39.24 sin theta now m m get cancel out so this two get multiply here so 2 into 2g means 9.81 minus g is 9.81 sin theta equals to 25 plus 39.24 sin theta multiplying by 2 2 to the 4 4 into 9.81 we get 4 into 9.81 39.24 minus 9.81 into 2 9.81 into 2 19.62 19.62 sin theta equals to 25 plus 39.24 sin theta or 39.24 minus 25 equals to 
plus 19.62 sin theta 39.24 minus 25 is 14.24 14.24 equals to 39.24 plus 19.62 is 58.86 58.86 sin theta we get sin theta equals to 14.24 upon 58.86 theta equals to sin inverse 14.24 upon 58.86 equals to shift sin inverse 14.24 upon 58.86 58.86 we get our angle 14 degree therefore the 14 degree angle 14 degree is the condition at which the rope will break thank you